Chewbacca, Mowgli and Django have been practicing for a year. They're ready to shine at the RoboCup, a robotics football competition between some of the world's most intricate bots and their creators. Project manager Olivier can be proud that his minions are the only French team to have qualified for the final stages. Engineers have designed and developed these bots for months, following meticulous programming and a barrage of tests. Now up and running, the humanoids cost 6,000 euros apiece. No doping allowed, the bots must conform to the rules of the game. In the competition, the limit in the competition, the idea is to limit the robot's senses to that of humans. Exterior elements are not allowed. So the robot has a camera for an eye, which moves when he moves. He has the equivalent of an internal ear, captors on his feet that serve as soles and heels. Organizers this year in China imposed an artificial turf, three centimeters high. An extra challenge for these high-stepping, square-footed machines. If they fall, there's no hand to help them up. No one is allowed to intervene on the playing field. The robots are autonomous. They make choices on their own. One aspect that is particularly difficult and original is their humanoid appearance. We have locomotion problems but also vision problems. The robot has to be able to detect where the ball is and to make choices independently. We program the robots and they manage on their own. Getting up after a fall is a small feat in robotics. Programmers can spend days coding for all the possible situations on the ground. Even if the robots stay standing without bumping into each other, there's another challenge to master, seeing the ball. The difficulty this year is to detect a white ball in an environment where there are white lines and boxes. Last year the ball was orange, so this year we're trying to develop algorithms that will use the fact that the ball is smooth, whereas the ground is textured. RoboCup's stated aim is to one day square up to flesh and blood World Cup players. In the meantime, 18 teams will show off their articulate inventions, and the stakes are far reaching. The French team is also working on the development of prosthetic limbs for humans.